Hello, this is an exciting time for me. I've decided to start building an airplane while I work on my private pilot's license. Both of these have been lifelong dreams of mine, and I'm excited to see them through to completion. I've decided personally to start building an RV-7 from Vans Aircraft, and the empennage kit recently arrived. I'm still waiting on a few tools from Aircraft Spruce to arrive before I start building. So I thought now would be a great time to start the documentation process here on YouTube and take all of you along. This project has been a lifelong goal and it's finally starting. I want to start off by thanking the EAA for their Sport Air workshops, which gave me the confidence to start this multi-year endeavor at a very affordable price, and of course Aircraft Spruce for supporting those workshops. I bought as many of my tools as I could from them, and their sales team has been great to work with. Also, I want to thank EAA Chapter 414. They've been a great community to be a part of, and I know I can lean on my fellow members and our tech counselors whenever I need help. Finally, I'd like to thank my grandfather, Russell Rogers, who introduced me to the world of aviation at a very young age. And with that, let's jump right in, get started with unpacking and inventory. Welcome to Project Life Goal. I'm gonna keep every year as a season and then every time I produce a new video, I'll increment the episode count. When you order the RV7 kit, the empennage kit from Vans, it comes in two boxes. There you just saw me tearing down the smaller box. That smaller box has a lot of the hardware and other miscellaneous small pieces, some of the spars in it. I decided to use the Milwaukee bench that I've dedicated to my aircraft tools there to start off with. And then I quickly realized I needed to pull out these 24 by 36 inch plans and get those uh, flattened a little bit since they do come rolled up. Now I'm actually unpacking the hardware bag. Uh, they put all the rivets and some of the smaller hardware in one big bag and I started to put all of the rivets here on the Milwaukee tool chest and then the other hardware items on a folding bench that I have connected to the wall just to keep things organized and sorted while I was inventorying them. One thing I did do, which did help out greatly following along on the, the shipping list that Vans provides is to organize the bags using the numbers that are actually on the labels in ascending order. That greatly helped me find the bags as I was looking for them. Uh, every once in a while you'll see me bounce back and forth since I did separate out all the rivets from all the other miscellaneous hardware that comes in this kit. One thing I did do while I was going through the bags that had multiple different types of hardware in them is I'd start writing down on a piece of paper all the part numbers that were in the bag according to the uh, shipping list that Vans provides. I figured this would help me later on down the road when I go to look for a specific fastener or uh, rivet type when they're in commingled bags like that. I haven't spent a huge amount of time going through the actual build documentation yet because I was just so excited to start unpacking everything. Um, <clears throat> but I do recall from uh, watching a video of Jason Ellis, sometimes he had troubles finding the smaller parts he was looking for. So I've always got organization and inventory and additional labeling steps in mind as I'm going through this project. I decided for the time being that I'm going to keep most of the smaller parts in the Milwaukee tool chest that I've dedicated specifically for airplane tools since I still had several drawers uh, that were pretty much wide open. Uh, so I put all the rivets and the hardware in there after I finished inventorying them and now you see me going through all of the aluminum pieces, the spars, the doublers, so on and so forth. I'm sure once I get into the later kits, keeping everything inside of that Milwaukee tool chest will no longer be an option in terms of parts as obviously the empennage is the smallest of the kits. Um, and when you get to the fuselage and the wings, I don't think I'll be able to fit everything in there. So I'll have to come up with a, another organization strategy once I get to those larger kits. Here I'm starting to go through all the skins, and then my friend uh, Justice and my wife came out to uh, say hello, see how things were going. I can't stress enough how important it is, guys. Keep your family, your friends involved in this process. Uh, I already know it's going to be a, a long effort. Get them involved early, keep them involved throughout the entire process. I know my wife's almost as excited as I am. Uh, I wish I had a video of her, uh, her face when she came out and saw the kit. It was, it was awesome. Well, that's pretty much it for unpacking and inventory. Now that I actually have the kit here, it will definitely help me figure out some additional storage for all the pieces while I'm working on them. 
If you have any advice, lessons that you learned, please leave them in the comments below. If you've got questions, stick those there too, and I'll try to get to them in the next video. Thanks.